folks, welcome to Best Choice RVs in Irwin, Pennsylvania, 724-864-1449. Today we've got a 2022 Salem 36 VBDS 2 bedroom. Let's go over some of the features, shall we? On the front area we have a full uh, area of storage in here that we can access from inside or outside. We've got oversized stabilizer bars with JT strong arm bars. We have a full power awning with the rain ease feature, both ends tilt like that. Patio sliding glass door, so excellent for a campsite. The camper is below 40 feet, the box is 36, so a lot of those smaller spaces, this two bedroom unit would accommodate what you need. So going down this side, we have the large grab handle. We have the folding in steps, so if you do a patio, they actually fold into the body. You don't have to worry about the up and down ones, and therefore you'll have a nice, easy uh, way into the deck. Um, six gallon quick recovery electric gas water heater, and we have outside sound. This is your furnace. We have two 110 outlets, as well as a cable hookup if you're gonna do an outside entertainment system. The rear door proves invaluable because we can access the bedroom independently because you'll see inside there's a bedroom in the front, and there's one in the back. So if you do have guests, they can access their end without bothering you in the front. Nice feature. Going around the back of the camper, we've got our cable satellite system, spare tire, and uh, large open windows. So a lot of light can come in the unit. Very nice, you can see on those dark and dismal days. Uh, coming up the non-door side, we feature two slides on this unit. We have the bedroom slide and the main entertainment area slide. Everything comes to one port. Your black and gray tanks are right below the, the unit here. They are marked gray and black so you can distinguish what valve you're pulling. And they're also marked conveniently to tell you what's going on. It does feature a black tank flush. And this unit is a 50 amp service, which means it would have, you can put an optional second air on this unit if you want. The outside shower is a five foot hose with hot and cold running water. And you have your city water connection conveniently right here between the two slide outs. Going up the non-door side, we have, like I said, our main slide, large picture windows, a lot of light. And we have a lot of light going to the, the bedroom here. And then going around the front of the trailer, we have uh, twin tanks here and a power electric front jack. So those are some of the features on this. Let's go inside and take a look, shall we? Starting in the front bedroom or bunk room, we have sleeping for two up top, and we also have a couch back down here. These actually pick up hydraulically, This bench bottom, which serves as a bench, also makes a full bed. So either this 60 by 80 bed and the 60, 80 bed in the back, we can do four adults, or we can do four kids up here by just folding these back down into position. And we have one and two and three and four. Plenty of sleeping. We don't have any curtains in the unit. We have a pull out pocket door for privacy. This room also features USB charge ports, a physical light switch, so the kids don't have to try and get up and hit the lights in like a lot of units. The entertainment section right here, you have a space for a television. You have a sound bar, which is an alarm clock. It does have HDMI hookup for a Blu-ray or CD player or DVD player and a USB charge point. The fireplace is a multi-function fireplace. It has 5,000 BTUs of heat electrically and it also has the flicker flame feature to it that you can change the light colors. It's also on a timer as well. So you can set it and forget it. Going down to the Versa Lounge. So the Versa Lounge is something that Salem came out with. It's a one of a kind feature. Um, not any units except one other brand might have this feature. But what we feature here is we've got a couch that's well over eight feet long. So it's an L sofa for entertainment. 
We can watch TV. Everybody can sit down. And then we have what we call like a theater section behind where the table's at when it's in this position. When you make this bed, you actually just jackknife flip it down. And you're going to take this out and this out and this foam here. And it makes a bed the size for a Sasquatch. So any standard eight footer could fit in this location for sleeping. Very nice. It's very plush. It's got some memory foam to it. Um, we get a lot of compliments about how well this sleeps. Now, the ease of putting it back up. Uh, and then obviously for sleeping at night, we have the pull down blackout shades. So these are easy lift shades. And what's nice is they're easy to clean. You don't have any ropes that break. Um, you really can't do anything to them that's gonna destroy them unless you poke a hole in them. Those are featured throughout the camper except in the kitchen area where you need the metal ones. Below the couch, they have the storage. And this unit comes with totes, large oversized totes. So we have three in this location here, and then we're gonna have two more located here and as well as here. So we have five totes. We don't have to carry luggage in and out. We don't have to carry all these bags. Take your tote in, everybody gets a tote, you take your tote out, you put their initial on it, that's their tote. Very nice organizational system. Easy to use, easy to put back. Now going back to the Versa Lounge. The feature that we're talking about for eating is this actually picks up, turns around, comes down, it goes right into that location there, and now we have a dinette area and a regular couch for eating. All these cushions go into the same locations, out of your way, and this would go down here. <coughs> the other thing this is, is if we want to sleep people here and here, the table folds down flat, the cushions go on top, so we have two separate sleeping areas for maybe some kids. So. We've got versatile sleeping. So, so far we're up to two, four, six. We're up to eight people at this point in time. Two in the front, so we've got 10 sleeper in this camper. The air conditioner is located here, which is central. And it also has the furnace, which is a solid state furnace. And they're all operated off of a thermostat. Going to the kitchen area, we have our three top burner with oversized grouts, grates. We have an oven and it is lit. And we have the Sparkomatic tops, so these lights, so you don't need a match. Oversized, oversized fan above that that does go outside, vents outside, and a standard uh, microwave, 0.9. And this, this year for 22 and a half, this is actually a full-size Whirlpool refrigerator at well over 22 cubic feet. This is the largest refrigerator. It's residential. It is 110. Um, but this definitely take care of all the people you're going to have over sleeping 10 people. Going into the uh, pantry area, we have a full pantry to feed those people. So the thought process in this is well thought out. We've got storage, we've got food storage, we've got cold storage, and enough room where people can move around on a not so nice day. Coming back into the bath area, we have an easy step in shower. I'm six foot two, plenty of room to the top. It's an easy access in and it has a very nice workable shower door. On the opposite side, you have your medicine cabinet, as well as your hot and cold for your um, sink, and a foot flush toilet. With again, storage behind that, plenty of it. It's still deep, and you have storage on both sides over here for towels and incidentals, and they're very deep. So again, the thought was storage, um, so we, we can accommodate the people we're going to bring. Going into the bedroom area, we have the full queen bed, 60 by 80. We have the charge stations on each side, 110 on both sides in case you have a CPAC or something like that. We have storage underneath all the way through with outside excess. And then you do have your totes again in the back. You get four of these. Very nice, usable. No plywood, no structure wood. No structure wood. The floor is going to be 5 8 uh, tongue and groove plywood, and you'll see it throughout the camper. It is, it is plywood, not structural wood. We have a walk-in closet back here. 
You can do various things with this. You can actually put in your shelves if you want. It does have a hanging rod. Uh, it does come with the storage in this location right here as well. And this will be featured at the RV show this year in January 8th through 16th down in Pittsburgh. So come on out to Best Choice RVs and take a look. Thanks, folks.